Hello and welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Super Channel. Um, this is going to be a mini tutorial um, on a uh, thing you guys, uh, it's normally uh, unfamiliar to some people, but it's on duct tape paintings. Um, and it's not really a painting, it just looks like one. It's a painting made out of duct tape. And so, your first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to make a bifold wallet. And I have already done that here. So, but, um, and you're going to opening it up, and this, the outside is where you're going to put the painting on. Um, a word of advice, um, if you make the bifold out of a design like I did, uh, not a solid color, um, I would, uh, for the, th the painting, um, uh, I would choose other designs. I would not mix solid colors with designs. I've tried that before and it does not look great. Um, but uh, that's what I would do. I tried that my first time and it didn't turn out like I thought it would. And it still looks good, but it didn't look as well as I wanted it to. So, your first step, or your second step now, is to cut out two pieces of duct tape that are um, a little shorter than your bifold wallet and I would cut out two of them because you can stick one on and obviously one is not going to cover up the full area um, that you want it to so cut two and then you're going to stick them on and just leave a little bit showing of every color on every edge and try and get your edges straight as possible um, cause that helps um, makes it look better, nicer and I would, before you fold your bifold wallet I would do this first before you fold it and then fold it afterwards so it's not hard like you're working with a crease like I am and so that's your first step, or your second step. Your next step is going to be, you're going to cut out two more. Strips of duct tape that are slightly shorter than your second ones. I'm going down by about a half inch every time, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. You're going to do the same thing that you did with your first one. And do that. And this is a very simple. I'm not finished, but I just wanted to explain this. This is a very, very, very simple duct tape painting. This is one of the easiest ones. Um, if you really get into it, I would look on YouTube. There's a lot of people who do it. And they actually. Like blend colors, get special designs, and all sorts of things. Um, this is just a basic square color lowering down. Um, it's one of the first ones I've done. It's the only one I've done. I'm not very good with these, but um, you can do. You can still do a lot of cool things just with these little or these easy paintings. And so, this is a really cool color. I just bought it. Um, it's a checkerboard. And then, so there, once you get down to the one strips, um, you can cut, um, this is my next color, I'll show you, you pretty much do the one, a one another one strip, but cut it, um, uh, on the top, like this. 
try and get it as straight as possible. Ah, ha, ha, do not do what I just did. I duct tape, you gotta be careful a lot of the time when you're working with duct tape because things come off, they unstick, they do all sorts of things. And so, here is your finished product. This is your basic duct tape painting. Um, you see it just lowers by squares. Um, I did not take my time on this. I just wanted to fit this into a mini tutorial. Um, but you're going to have to line up your edges better than I did. Because I did not line up my edges very well. And so that is um, the... Um, that is the mini tutorial on how to make um, a duct tape wallet. And uh, first, uh, or the, uh, last on the last note, if anybody sends you something about subs for subs, completely ignore that. That is a scam trying to get your personal information. Do not give them any information. It is a total fake. Alright, so thank you and please subscribe.